Uh, and thanks everybody for attending the webinar. Uh, I'm excited to talk a little about infographics today, uh, how we make them at Lemonly, and kind of why they're important and why they're powerful. Um, as Jenny mentioned, we'll take questions throughout. Uh, you can answer, you can submit them. Morgan, our community manager, is here with me, so she'll be able to jump in, and I'll try to do the same. Uh, we want to carry the conversation afterward. If we, if you don't get your question answered, uh, feel free to connect any of these ways on social media. The hashtag for the webinar will be hashtag Sweet Visuals, and you can hit me up at John T Meyer or us at Lemonly. So that's the housekeeping. Uh, we'll get right into it here. So yeah, uh, Lemonly is a visual marketing company, as Jenny described, and what that means is we try to create understanding through visuals. So we're a design shop, typical design agency, but probably atypical in the sense that we, uh, we just really focus on kind of information design, on storytelling, on communicating uh, complex things in, in a visual way. Uh, so this is a snapshot of our team here in our Sioux Falls headquarters, and that's right, we are based in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, maybe some of you have heard of it. Often when I go to conferences or places, people say, you're the first person I've ever met from South Dakota, as if, as if we were aliens or something like that. Um, truth is, there, isn't, there aren't a lot of us, but, uh, but we're creative people and we're, and we're good at design. So that's the namesake right here, the, the Falls of Sioux Falls. So as, uh, as I mentioned, our mission, we create understanding through visuals. And kind of our larger company goal is uh, we want to make the world an easier place to understand. Um, that's a large, a large vision, but I think it's important for companies, whether you're a freelance designer, you work for a big agency, or you're a community manager, business development, whatever your role is that your company has a vision, something that you're, you're moving toward. Um, it's an exciting challenge to come to work every day with that vision because we live in a world today with, with more and more data and, and, and information around us than ever before, which we'll touch on here. Uh, and it's really exciting, but it's also kind of confusing, and it can be overwhelming. Um, so we just think that this good design and things like infographics can make the world an easier place to understand. So we do that in a couple different ways. Uh, we do infographics, data viz, interactive ones. So as, as we've seen infographics grow and it's become more popular, we've seen them start to evolve. So people understand that infographics are a great way to stand out from the crowd, but they also want to stand out just from the other people who are doing static infographics. So we've seen interactive ones where we do make them responsive, look great on a mobile or tablet device. Um, now the links can actually be clicked. You can dig deeper and, 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 and learn more. Um, we've also started doing animated graphics, so actual videos, kind of explainer videos. Um, and then we've touched a lot, a little bit, kind of internally building some iOS products, um, some iPhone apps. So that's what we do at Lemonly. Uh, and we're thankful to get to do that with a lot of great clients. Um, Ginny mentioned a few, major, uh, Marriott, PepsiCo, Major League Baseball, the Grammys, um, Trojan condoms. My mom was really proud of me when, when we got to do that, and I told her about that infographic. Uh, so a lot of different people, a lot of different industries. It's not really one sector, but everyone needs storytelling, and everyone needs to uh, I explain and create understanding. So uh, we can help them. So here's a little bit uh, about our agenda for, for today, what we hope to accomplish in the next hour. And I'm going to leave probably at least 15 to 20, hopefully 20 minutes of, for Q&A because I want to hear what questions you guys have and, and, and um, different things about infographics we can talk about. So we're going to talk about the power of visuals, why they're important, why they're powerful, uh, the value of content marketing. That's really what we're doing when we do infographics and storytelling is content marketing. Um, what I think is the most important skill of 2014, and then we'll go through our recipe for sweet infographics at Lemonly. So through data, design, and distribute are the three phases. So we're going to start here with a little bit of infographics history. And our story does not actually start uh, at Hogwarts, but uh, I like to start our story back here uh, in 1440 A.D., uh, this is the Gutenberg printing press, uh, not this exact one. Obviously, you see it says New York there, but a, a similar version of the Gutenberg printing press, which was complete right around 1440 A.D. Uh, and this was a big moment in time, a big moment in history, because now all of a sudden the word, you know, people used to write books and actually handwrite books, uh, but literature and, and the word could then be spread and be mass-produced and spread all across Europe and, and, and the world. Um, 
what's amazing today is to think that this big printing press machine, we basically all have one of these in our pocket with our smartphones. You know, we have a publishing device that can, whether through, through Twitter or blogging or Instagram, photos, whatever, we can create content and be a mass distributor right there in our pocket. Uh, and that, that cell phone, that Gutenberg printing press that you have in your pocket, is a big reason why infographics have really risen and grown, which we'll touch on a little bit later. So the spread of information started, with, I would say, with the Gutenberg printing press, but actually we're going to go back even further uh, to where our story begins here, uh, about 40,000 years ago. Uh, this is, the, this is a, a painting in the cave of Altamira, and the cave of Altamira is in northern Spain. Uh, and uh, archaeologists and scientists have found this painting and believe it's you know, one of the oldest existing uh, pieces of, I would call, I would argue this is one of the earliest infographics. Um, and what I mean by that is if you break down that word infographic, it's pretty simple. It's information displayed in a graphical way, infographic. It's data and it's visuals. Um, and the reason why I would argue that this is an infographic is the scientists know that the people who lived in the cave of Altamira and in this region um, were very nomadic people. So they would move from cave to cave and they would travel and, and, and go wherever they needed to go. So it wasn't a form of, of art. You know, they don't, they don't know exactly what it re represents, but they know it wasn't like just decoration. It wasn't like they painted it just for aesthetic reasons. Um, so this communicated something. It could communicate danger, perhaps, that there was, you know, there was something dangerous nearby and kind of warning for when they came back or other people followed them to these caves. Uh, it could also mean food, uh, maybe that there was a, a plentiful season here. So I think it's interesting to think that uh, infographics go way, way back to uh, a long time ago, basically. But we'll flash forward our story all the way uh, to 2011, uh, and that was the birth of Lemon Lee. And this was a huge moment. People were really excited. Scientists and archaeologists were so studying intently. Um, I wish that were true, but that's not quite true. But what's interesting is if you look at the word infographics, you know, I would argue that they've been existed for 40,000 years. Uh, but on the web, according to Google, if you go to Google Trends, not so much. Um, I like to think that you can see that curve. Right about, we started in like August of 2011, so we'll be three years old this summer. But you see it start to jump up there. I'd like to think that was you know, this moment right here with the birth of Lemon Lee, but that's not quite true. Um, if you see before 2010, it was just a blip on the radar as far as people searching that word and thinking about the word infographic. But now we've seen a spike and grow up. And, and one thing I think that's interesting is some people believe, some people argue, oh, infographics have kind of jumped the shark, like they were a fad and used to be all over social media and Twitter, but now they're going away. Well, Google Trends is a pretty good pulse of what people are thinking about, what people care about, what people are searching. And the data shows that, that people are definitely